This is Indefinite Integrals with Taylor Singleton and Lewis Hahn. As the first step for this problem, we're going to separate the variables. We get the inter integral of 2x cubed dx minus the integral of 4x dx. In addition, we also have the integral of 3 dx because the 3 here does not have an x. The second step is to remove the coefficients. So we have 2 integral x cubed dx minus 4 integral of x dx plus the integral of 3 dx. The next step is to integrate. We end up with 2 times x to the fourth over 4 minus 4 x squared over 2 plus 3x plus c. Following this, we simplify and we get 2 over 4 x to the fourth minus 4 over 2 x squared plus 3x plus c. We can simplify again and we end up with 1 half x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 3x plus c. Okay, this is our second problem. The first step is to rewrite the, the equation. So we have the integral of t to the negative one half minus t to the four thirds dt. We integrate and we end up with t to the one half, or positive one half because we added one, over one half. And we subtract t to the seven thirds because we added one here, over seven thirds plus c. When simplified, this comes out to two t to the one half minus three sevenths t to the seven thirds plus c. Our next problem is a u substitution problem. The first thing we have to just do is decide what the u value is after we, we rewrite the equation. We're going to rewrite the equation as 3x squared x to the third plus 6 to the 1 half dx. For our u, we'll pick x to the third plus 6. We then have to determine du over dx. equals 3x squared. And because we need to determine dx, we end up with dx equals du over 3x squared. After performing substitution, we end up with 3x squared u to the 1 half dx. then plug in for the dx value. So we have 3x squared, the value of u to the 1 half, times du over 3x squared. These two values cancel out, and we're left with u to the 1 half, du. We then plug back in, or we integrate that, and we come up with u to the 3 halves, over 3 half plus c. Then we plug in and we end up having 2 thirds x to the third plus 6 to the 3 halves plus c. Hello, this is Lewis Hahn and we'll be doing number 4. Okay, so in here we had to simplify. So it would be the integral of 3x of 1 fifth minus ex plus x set to power 7 dx. Then we integral, integrate this. So we 
took out the free. Then add one, so it'd be six fifth over six fifth, or multiply five six. Doesn't matter. Then integrate ex. To integrate ex, it's e e to the second because we're plus one over two. And to integrate x to the power of seven, you plus one and divide by the number. So it will be x to the power of eight over eight plus c. Never forget c. Then we simplify this. Three times fifth six equals fifteen x. Fifth minus e over two x to the power two plus s a over eight plus c and this is our answer. Onward to the next problem. So, in this, we can separate. So, to simplify this, we can integrate. It will be 5x for over z. Oh, it's not x, it's z this time. Alright. Cube plus 6z over z third. Power of 3. Minus 2 over. Z power of third again. All right. Okay. In this problem, we can divide the uh, powers. So, if we took out the three, this would be a power of one. So it would just be five. Z. Uh, I'm using X again. Okay. And if we take this three, it would just be a negative three. So this would be negative two. And if we took negative 3 in this one, this would be negative 3. So this would be plus 6z power of negative 2 minus z power of negative 3 dx. Ah, uh, dz, always messing up the variable. Okay. Then I to integrate this, it would be five z square over two because we're adding one plus six z negative one over negative one. We're adding one, so this would be negative one minus z negative two over negative. 2. Again, I 1, so it's negative 2. Plus C. To sim then we simplify this. 5 half Z power of 2 plus negative 6 Z power of negative 1 plus z negative 2 yeah just cross out plus c this is your answer and now our last problem okay so we simplify this into the integral of ex plus x power negative 2 minus e to dx. Now, e to 2 is a constant. Just to remember. Now, 
we integrate this ex integrate it, it equals ex plus x negative one because we're plus one so it equals negative one over negative one then we then we subtract e2 and add x remember e2 is a constant so it's just like a number then we plus e don't forget to see then to simplify this we have ex minus because of the negative one is negative x power negative one minus e square x plus c and that's it now you know how to do indefinite integrals thank you for watching and goodbye